Hey guys, so today I have what I consider to be a super exciting video because I'm going to be doing a massive declutter. This is going to be the biggest decluttering I've ever done on my channel, but I'm going to go through all of my clothes and just like bring it all in one pile and go through it individually, kind of like the Kunmari method. Basically, the room that I'm in right now is what used to be my makeup room or my beauty room, and it is now the baby's nursery room. So everything that I had in this room has to fit in what used to be my walk-in closet. If you guys watch my closet tours, you know that room is actually pretty big, but nonetheless, I. It might be a little bit challenging getting all of my makeup, all my clothes, all my shoes and bags to fit in there. So I am going to have to get rid of a ton of stuff. So we have a lot to go through. So let's go ahead and get started. As with any cleanup project, the first thing I like to do is empty everything out so that I can see how much stuff I have. And then it's a lot easier to go through it and sort everything out. So I'm starting by decluttering all of my clothes. So all the clothes that you're seeing right now is like my going out clothes. I have two drawers in the master bedroom where I keep all of my lounge clothes. So you guys will see me declutter that as well. And then I'm going through and removing all of my makeup and also my belts and basically anything that is out and in the drawers. Okay, so I'm almost done emptying out this room. I'm not gonna take the makeup out of this because I had already decluttered the, the makeup that's in here. This is all good stuff. So next I'm going through and wiping everything down. I'm sweeping the floors. I would have mopped, but I'm completely out of my little Swiffer thing, so I need to buy some more. This is what I'm using to wipe everything down with. It smells so good, and every spring they come out with the limited edition peony scent, which smells amazing. It smells like flowers. Oh my goodness, you guys, you know when you start a project like this and you think to yourself, there's no turning back now? <laughs> That's how I felt in this moment. So I started just sorting through everything. I basically used the Kamari method. I held it in my hand and decided whether I love it. If I love it, then I put it in the keep pile or if I didn't love it, then I went ahead and put it in the donate pile. Um, I did have to take it one step further because I have done the love it or not method in the past and I've hung on to a lot of things that I still didn't end up wearing. So I asked myself, how many times have I worn it in the past year? And I told myself that I had to have worn it at least three times for it to make the keep pile. By the way, you know how a lot of people joke that they have a sock thief in their house? Well, I have an actual sock thief. Some pieces were really hard to let go of. Some of them had had them for about five to six years and they were just like statement pieces that I didn't want to let go of, but I never wore them. So they were just taking up space and they were in such good condition that other people could definitely enjoy them. Another thing that helped me get rid of those pieces that were hard to let go of was asking myself, okay, can you think of three different places within the next three months that you could wear this to? And that helped me decide too because there were some dresses that just simply didn't fit my lifestyle anymore. Here's a couple pieces that were so hard to get rid of, like this one. Uh, has probably made it through like four years of clean outs, but I keep telling myself I'm gonna wear it one more time and it's been sitting in my closet and I still haven't worn it. It's this really pretty sparkly jacket. So. Also, this one is a little crop jacket that I got from BB a few years ago. Again, there's a time in my life that I wore this all the time and in the, for the past couple of years, I just haven't worn them. So as much as I love these pieces and it pains me to see them go, they have to go. Okay, so here's another example. These two pieces were really hard to get rid of, but they just don't... Well, this green one is really pretty, but I only wore it once last year because it's just really hard to wear unless I'm traveling because it's such a like unique color and unique cut. It's really hard to wear. This one I wore once in Las Vegas and it just doesn't fit my lifestyle anymore. Um, if you guys can see, this is all mesh. I need to wear like those special bras that don't show through the back or the front, which I won't be able to wear for the next year while I'm still breastfeeding. Once I had my donut and my keep pile, I went ahead and folded everything and put everything in hanger and I was very satisfied with what was left. Aside from the clothes, this is pretty much everything that was in my closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sorting through everything. All right, so I am going to get rid of at least two different perfumes. This is gonna be hard because I feel like I use all of them. Um, and this is from when I used to be subscribed to Scentbird. 
I think I can pretty much get rid of all those because I have one in my purse already and that can be refilled. This is my favorite perfume, as you guys can tell. I have just a little bit in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that up. This one, I don't reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. I think I'm also going to pass the Tom Ford on because it pretty much smells identical to the shimmering body oil, and I reach for this one way more than this one. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go through these sunglasses. I have three more pair of sunglasses, but they're all in like my purse and my car. I know I'm gonna get rid of these because I don't ever reach for these anymore. And I think I'm gonna give these to my sister because she loves these. So I don't wear those anymore either. Up next we have jewelry. So this is probably gonna take me a little bit longer. I'm gonna sort through everything and then just show you guys what I end up keeping and what I end up donating. I've held on to these two earrings for the longest time thinking that I'm gonna find the other half eventually and I never have. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. So this is everything that I'm keeping. I was pretty brutal with the jewelry category. Uh, my earring obsession can get a little bit out of hand. And then here is everything that I am going to go ahead and pass on. I'm actually gonna pass these on to my mom and sisters because they're all in really good condition and I know it's all stuff that they would like. I'm also gonna keep both of my scarves. This one is from Louis Vuitton. And this one is from Dior. I picked this one up in Paris, so I'm definitely gonna keep both of those. Okay, so I sorted all the jewelry that I'm keeping. My hair is everywhere. And as I finished putting it all away, I realized um, this is not all of my jewelry. Like, where is it? And then I remembered I have this bowl that I keep on my computer where I just drop everything in at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and sort through that. Okay, so this is everything that was in that bowl. I'm probably just gonna get rid of these earrings. Because I don't really wear them as much. They're super cute. I'm also going to pass these on. I don't reach for these. Uh, this rose gold necklace. Super dainty necklace. I'm going to pass that on because I hardly ever wear rose gold. And yeah, I'm going to keep everything else. Okay, that looks more like my jewelry collection. Um, so I'm also keeping that necklace right there. It's a really pretty like dainty tear necklace. And then this little watch set that my mommy got me. Um, but yeah, I think I did good. I'm keeping that and I am getting rid of all of this so far. Okay, so up next I have all of my belts and this looks like a hot mess. These are all the belts that I'm keeping. And these are all the ones that I'm going to pass on because I just don't reach for them as much. Okay, so this is everything that I'm keeping. All of my makeup is in there and my jewelry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back. I also have these pink boxes right here, which I'm gonna use to store things like scarves. The last thing left to do is organize my makeup. So I have everything on my vanity already. I have all of my perfumes, my sunglasses. I brought out my powders and then I have this organizer. And this is where I'm gonna have my brushes, but I need to wash them. I have a ton of makeup brushes that are filthy that need to be washed. And then I put some really cute decor right here because this vanity is like really, really big. I have this basket of makeup, which I think I have already decluttered it, but I'm gonna go through it and see if there's anything I'm gonna get rid of. I emptied the basket and this is all makeup brushes, so I need to wash all of those sort them out so i'm gonna give all this makeup away because it's all unopened and i think it deserves a good home lots of really good stuff so if you guys want to know how to enter this giveaway just read the info box i'll have all the details in there um i'll probably end up adding more to this giveaway pile as i come across it okay so i'm going to show you guys really quickly all of my makeup normally i like to organize everything by category but i kind of just organize everything by what actually fit into my containers in this drawer i have most of my lip products right here, and then I just have a few um, Hourglass blushes, my MAC, uh, what are these called? Prep and Prime, I love these, Fix Plus. Then I have some palettes back there. And I love how that looks. It just makes me really excited to get ready. So then over here, I have all my foundations. These are all the foundations that I currently own. Um, I did declutter them a while back. So this is pretty much what I use and what I love at the moment. And then I just have some primers that haven't been opened, which I love. And then, oh, this is such a good primer 
for summertime. It blocks out all your oil. It's so good. And then I have some palettes back here. But that is my entire makeup collection. Do you guys remember how much makeup I used to have? Yeah. Um, I love it this way though. I feel so less overwhelmed and, and now that the baby's here, I just have to be really careful with the things that I bring in. Otherwise, it starts to accumulate. But this room is pretty much done. All of my clothes look so much better. Do you guys remember how overstuffed this was? And my jewelry collection is substantially downsized from what it used to be. Mostly earrings, but I like it like that. In those boxes, I keep my belt. And then down here, I have all my pants. And the very last drawer is where I have my tops. And all my shoes are nice and organized. Like I mentioned, I had already decluttered my bags and my shoes, so I didn't have to get rid of anything. Um, I keep my tennis shoes and like my everyday flip-flops by the front door, so that's why you won't see them in here. And we are all done, you guys. This is everything that is going. So there's a total of five bags filled with clothes. It's all good clothes, um, so it's gonna be donated. And then over here we have beauty and makeup products. And then in those boxes is where I put all the jewelry and perfumes. So I would say this was definitely a success and this is the most set I've ever gotten rid of at once. And it feels awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me declutter. Um, it feels amazing. I hope this video inspires you to do some decluttering of your own, especially now that springtime is coming. Um, if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. I have lots of organization videos. I will leave them in my playlist down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.